here. Hello? Hello? I'm Pops, um, playing the band Saltbox. Band members are me and my brother and my wife. It's pretty cool. My name is Athena. My name is Joel, and I'm the drummer in the band. And I play the bass. We're a rock band. I like to shred sticks. I like to rock people's faces off. It's funny. It's good times. What I am responsible for in the band is, uh, well, if you follow us around, I'm probably the mom. <laughs> I'm making sure everybody doesn't, uh, that nobody forgets anything. Uh, make sure we don't leave anybody behind, unless we wanted to leave them behind. My my part in the band um, is very uh, like diverse and primarily I do drums, but I help with setting up uh, before the shows and and tearing down at the end. And then aside from that, I I kind of correlate with just trying to make connections with people and referring those to my bro, and he kind of handles the the booking end of it. So we kind of we kind of correlate and work together there. We started in 2004. The way we started was um, honestly God. God talked to me about starting a band with my brother. Uh, kind of like, you know, hey God, I really don't have time to play in a rock band with my brother. Kind of like a dad with a kid backed me in the corner and said, do this. And I said, fine, fine, okay. You know, um, God, if I'm going to do this though, I ask you to give me music that's from you. We had a couple of good friends that played in the band for a while. Um, one was our bass player, and one was another guitar player. I was always the person that was running all behind the scenes. I used to do the sound. They ended up not being in the band any longer. Well, we lost our bass player, and uh, we didn't have anybody to fill in. But I was always the one along the wall uh, that was shy. When God uh, challenged me to play the bass, I had that all that had to change. To be honest, it was just kind of a God thing because um, she had never played bass or played an instrument for that matter and uh, we handed her a bass and in two weeks she was playing shows with us so that was a pretty cool deal. I started playing the bass about three years ago whenever I basically uh, said here's a bass play it. <laughs> Our first album was a praise and worship album and so that was just kind of natural um, how we started out because um, that's what we were used to used to doing. We went from there and started writing our first song, which is Burn. It was our first rock song. One day we were playing a show um, with some kids down, oh, it was down around Branson, I think, if I remember right. And uh, we had written this harder song called Burn, and um, we pulled it out on a whim and played it, and the crowd went crazy. And, and it just kind of hit us that um, we really had a drive for rock um, at that point to start writing heavier riffs to reach this generation. And then when we got done with the show, they wanted us to play it again. And so we kind of started, that was kind of the birth of um, the harder music that we play. We kept writing one song after the next until we had enough songs to start going into the studio and laying some tracks down. And from there, we ended up uh, recording an album called Out of the Box. That was our first official album as Salt Box. So that's kind of where we started. What it was like in the recording studio was pretty epic, actually. My part on recording is really easy because, I mean, the bass obviously just has one. You just play it one time through and, and you're done. Unless, like, what happens sometimes when you're in the studio and you add second guitar parts, what you have been playing doesn't work anymore. So you have to go in there and completely rewrite your bass line. And then you got to learn how to play it on the fly. None of us had really done the recording um, atmosphere before. We spent lots of time uh, sitting down. We, we, like, we would prepare the songs and we would do all this, you know, hardcore practicing ahead of time and, and thought that we had everything nailed down. And we'd get in the studio and find out, oh wow, this is, this is really different. We threw it together, um, really crammed the first album in about eight months. And we were really excited and amped to get that out. And so it was a great experience. We, we really love uh, recording, but it's also very daunting and uh, time-consuming at the same time. Our uh, newest album, we 
which is the album that you are watching the video for, um, The Revolution. It was about a two-year project. Well, the, the album, I don't think, started off being called The Revolution. We never want to just settle for where we're at, but we want to keep going forward and striving for even better things that God could do. God began to deal with me about the fact that we weren't really making an impact on the lives of people. I began to really question whether what I was doing was really making a difference, whether it was really worth it. It given us influence. There were people that were listening to our music. We were just using it to sell records. You need a change. It's called The Revolution, and really the, the name behind it, the title is just challenging people to um, take up the cause that God has put inside of them and to live out what God has put inside of them, to be real, to be genuine. We are a revolution. During the process of recording the new album, God was dealing with me. We were going to call it after another song, um, but when you know God started dealing with us about uh, changing a bunch of stuff, and and just really this generation needs a revolution. Really, even beyond our live shows, uh, but changing literally who I was inside, and really challenging me as to why I was doing what I was doing with, with the band. I really wanted to change. When God first started dealing with me about that, I, I, I was kind of like, you know, God, that's not normal for a rock band to do that. The more empty I became, the more he began to change me inside and I began to want something more from the band. I wanted to do more than sell albums. I, I wanted to see people's lives genuinely affected by what we were doing. When, when all you're living for is nothing and you're hopeless and uh, you know everything that you got your hands on or everything you try to do just seems to you know blow away in the wind or just turn to ash or just... And everybody liked us but on the way home I'd find myself miserable um, because I'd be standing on the stage in that moment where God would tell me, you need to stop here, you need to share, um, you need to share about me. This generation is, um, is being called by God to become a revolution and that we have um, you know, a passion to go out and with God's help start a revolution through the music and the message and the ministry that he's given us to do through this, through this band Saltbox. Right in the midst of all of that happening, uh, we lost our mom. It was a very unexpected thing. And, um, our mom had always traveled with us. She'd always been with us on the road. All the arguments that I had for God, all the struggles, all of a sudden I was looking at my mom in a casket and uh, realizing that there had to be more to life than this. And all of a sudden I, I was being trapped between who I was and who God wanted me to be. We had nine songs for the album, but we hadn't had a tenth. And after our mom passed away, it just really felt like God wanted us to write a song for her. So we wrote this song entitled Beautiful Was Her Name. And my bro actually wrote it, and then we got together and just started adding the drum parts. And and Athena came in and we started adding the bass parts and just kind of kind of uh, orchestrated it uh, in time together. So call me Probably crazy. the most and call me difficult thing um, and call I've ever had to do musically was to write that song and to record it. I'd have to put my guitar down and walk away from it because the song was so no real at that moment. It was so me. It was so right where I was. Um, that song is called Beautiful, called her crazy, uh, was her name. But beautiful was her name. We wrote this, uh, we did this music video with 
um, with this really awesome uh, producer, Justin Cardoza, Flourish Films, and uh, he really came in and and um, helped us shoot this video for the song. Round and Round is a song that we wrote. Uh, it kind of really is almost ironic that we lost our mom because we'd already written that song uh, prior to losing mom. Round and round and round she goes where she stops. The song is obviously so in tune with where we're at in life and just in the fact that our life is going to end. And, and sometimes I think we get very disconnected from the realities that um, at some point your life is going to end. It may not be today, it could be today. The bottom line is though, when it ends, will what you have done make any difference. I personally think it's one of the coolest songs. It's very epic, very um, heavy, it's just heavy driven and, and um, it's just got a lot of swells in it. It's like it's like a wave kind of hits you, you know, and and it's just one of the coolest songs on there that God really blessed us with. Um, as we were going through writing ten songs for the record, um, we came across this one that God had given us, and over time we just kind of developed it. And really, um, it started uh, with my bro James, you know, writing this this really neat guitar riff, and it, it was just kind of um, it started off kind of slow and and just kind of evolved. It was just a really cool. Uh, guitar riff and Athena came in and laid some really sweet bass parts and and then I sat down with them and I'm like oh, let's see what we can do you know with the drums and we just kept kind of banging out some different beats here and there and and the drive of it just got more and more intense it, it just became more and more um, just like it's like, it just huge and and as it came together um, the message behind it really just showed us how chaotic life can be sometimes and how that, but there's hope in Christ that we can come out of the chaos of this life, the chaos of this world, that, that we can get through the whirlwinds that come our way and, and we can still press forward. And uh, But I would say that definitely that song um, is is definitely an impacting song for the record and definitely can, can make a difference. You know, if you just pay attention to the message and listen to the words in it, um, it's just one of those things that gets stuck in your head and you just keep hitting play and play and you know and just go over and over with that song. You know, playing in a band and being in a band is a lot of work. Um, you know, the kids that, you guys that show up at the show, you don't see what goes on behind the background. So, why do we do this? The reason why we do this is, honestly, it's because God's love compels us to do this. But the reason I do what I do is because I know that God is real because, you know, He changed my life. I mean, that's what we go for. It's it's the kids, it's the adults, it's the teen. It doesn't matter. College, you know, high school, junior high, adults. I mean, all ages. We just love getting out there and, and, and definitely having a good time. I hope that we're different in the way we connect with our fans. Uh, we want to be real. We want to be, like, not only tangible, but accessible. The whole concert is about getting out there with the, the kids. We literally stop 
and get off the stage and go out amongst the kids and um, we'll pray with them. And I've never seen that done before in a concert. When you get into the hearts of these kids, you'll find that when you get up on the stage, it's more like you're connected than disconnected because all of a sudden they're like, wow, this is just a regular person like me. You know, they're not just a really cool musician on stage that I can't even touch or I can't even be close to, but this is a regular individual who just likes to have fun playing music, but they can actually connect with me and keep it real. So that makes it, that makes it all worth it. We actually get on Facebook and answer questions when kids have issues or things that they're struggling with. You know, we will we will answer your questions to the best of our ability. If we don't have an answer, we'll find it. Uh, we have text messaging. You can sign up for text updates on the band. All you got to do is send the word text to 417-230-0663. That's actually our number. Um, it's not some server somewhere. And uh, if you have problems and need help, you need prayer, we get texts from kids all the time asking us to pray for them because of the things they're struggling with. We, we don't ever want to come to the place where, where we are so big and think so much of ourselves that we're disconnected from why we do this. Uh, the, the biggest thing is just uh, getting beyond the fear and reaching beyond yourself. And so what we encourage you to do is if you're dealing with stuff in life and uh, you need help, talk to God about it. He's very accessible. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Just talk to him. He's there. And, and he cares about your life. He cares about my life. And he'll help you. Jesus Christ is the only answer for humanity and the mess that we've got going on in our lives. I'm an ordinary guy just like you. Um, we're ordinary people just like the people that are watching this video. We're all just ordinary people. But God is extraordinary and he has the power to change your life if you will just open up your heart and let him. We are a revolution. We